you usually do not need a mandatory digital ID in order to transact your life, you know, to meet people, to travel, to buy some food, whatever. You don't need to have a common format global mandatory digital ID. Someone else wants you to have that. And they want you to have it, I believe, so that they know where you are at every breathing moment of your life thereafter. Uh, and why would they want to have that power? So they can make you do things or stop you doing things. Uh, once you've got a mandatory digital ID, the powers that can be can shrug and say, well, it's not us, it's this next viral pandemic, and you have to take the vaccine. Uh, otherwise, your digital ID will become invalid and you'll effectively fall into house arrest. Uh, so that's what they've been rehearsing. Uh, but then the, I think almost the last uh, brick in the wall of control are central bank digital currencies, um, basically electronic money, but issued from the Bank of England or the Federal Reserve, not uh, high street banks. Central bank digital currencies, though, do away with high street banks um, for the purpose of running accounts. So now when you present your mandatory digital ID at the vendor for whatever it is, a piece of meat, six miles from your home, um, the database that's connecting your uh, electronic money and your ID knows exactly where you are to the grid reference point. It knows who you're interacting with and what it is that's proposed to be purchased. And all you need now is a simple algorithm that could decide that people from further than five miles from the home may not buy anything, for example. We've all heard these things, like if you've had one piece of meat uh, in unit time, if you're not allowed to have more than one other, then you simply will find you can't buy a piece of pork, but you could buy some baked beans. Um, and I, like I said earlier, all it now takes is for malign individuals to have control of the database and the algorithms. And I assure you they are malign and they won't be a tech company in your country either. They won't be alterable by democratic processes because it'll be in the cloud run by probably a military computer. Um, so whoever has control of that database and its algorithm can prevent you from doing anything they choose. And don't assume they'll be, not be benign. They, their plans, as you can see from the sustainable development goals, is that you will have as little mobility as possible, that you'll be probably cold unless you live in a warm country, and that you'll be hungry unless you like bugs. And I, I personally believe it will definitely uh, in a, that situation is one that's unlivable, as far as I'm concerned. Complete loss of freedom means um, not not a, not a not a world I want to be in.